Hello crazy coders, welcome to the third part of our quiz game with JUI made with the Kinder module of Python and today in this video we will make the user screen for our game which will look something like this that is when you run the uh, Python file you will get a screen with an intro message and a button which is play game and when you press this game you can continue with our game which we have coded in the earlier part of video which is having a question having options having a next button and when you click on the next button you will uh, get the next question and in the end you will just get the score okay so i will give you a quick tour of our game that we have coded in earlier parts so without further ado let's get started with the video okay so in the first part basically what we did is we made the ui which is first thing i made our window and I made a root frame in which I made all these questions and options and also the next button. Then we have a score label which is embedded in our main window and it is current state is forget. Okay. But when we reach the end of our questions list, we will make this visible through this placing and making the root forget and this is what we have done in the second part which that is making the button active with the next command and in the next basically what we did is we made the questions list options list and answers and we made the global variables which score total number of questions and question number count okay so in the next one basically we did is we get which is the push answer picked by the user and we have checking the answer if it's same we are updating the question and we are also updating question number each time and we are just checking if we are at the end of our questions list if yes then forget the root which is having questions and answers then plays the score with the updated score which we have updated here and in the else part basically what we are doing is if it's not the last question then show the next question and make all the check options unchecked okay? that was a basic logic of the earlier code so now what we'll do in this video is basically we will add a user screen so when you run this file you will not see anything you are just started with the questions and the answer list and in the next button you will just get to the next question but we, it's not a good idea to do this so we'll just let the user know that we are in the quiz game in the initial part itself for that first thing i will do is i will give a geometry to our window okay now why we are doing this i will explain in a bit but what this basically does, it specifies a fix, a height and width. So here I will just pass 600x 150 and this must be the task. And so yeah, if I run this, it will have a fix size. You may not see a difference, but as you can see the space here is increased. But yeah, this looks fine. So that's why I added it. Now, uh, the next thing is, as usual, I will create a frame i will add it in all our user screen widgets and then i will display it on the i will pack it on a main window and what we'll basically do is for the current part we'll make the root invisible and when you click on the play game button we will make the root visible and a user screen further so for that let's create a user screen and for that i will just do a frame and yes i will just pack it okay uh, and uh, for packing it in the center what I will use it please okay? place it in the center I will just use a relics is equal to 0.5 and rel y equals to 0.5 okay? uh, and I'll just remove the spaces and you now if I run this of course we won't see anything because there are no contents and also our root is also visible so for now i will just make it forget as well the same thing we did here which is making the current state invisible and we can make it uh, visible when we want using a uh, place or back okay now if i run this you see there are no contents and still our uh, screen is uh, of the specified width but if i remove this and if i run this our screen will be not uh, the way we want it so that's why since there are no contents it is reduced but uh, by specifying uh, uh, height and width we will be able to get a constant width of height and screen even with questions even without questions so that's great moving ahead i 
place the relax with 0.5 and 0.5 say i want to place it center but place it in center we have to also use our anchor uh, attribute and we have to pass center what this anchor basically is it just specifies which point you want to be placed okay so it will take a center and it will make the center at 0.5 and point usually by default it's i think left okay so let's uh, add widgets to it the first thing i will add is intro message widget which will be a label and it will be in our user screen frame and the text it will contain is basically a welcome to welcome to our quiz quiz game cool. okay welcome to our quiz game okay now uh, to actually make it as good as this i will just uh, take this form and i'll just place it so i think this works okay no more extra that's cool now after that what i'll do is i will also add this bit yeah i think this might look good but also have to pack it so intro message dot pack now if i run this i will be able to see a message and it's a quite different center but if i remove this anchor now what will happen is it has moved to the left right because it has considered the center as the left anchor point uh, but if we just give it a center then it will be in the center and the center part will be make it as the 0.5 point okay that's great we have our intro message then we have to add a button as well which will be a play button i think and i just go there and it will have a text uh, it will be in the user screen and it will have a text which is very simple play game okay uh, i think let's keep it this way and here as well okay now this looks good uh, and if i just uh pack this scene basically uh, and if i run this you will be seeing our uh, yes our main thing which is intro message and the plugin but if i press the button nothing will happen because we haven't provided any command function so in the command uh, attribute we just have to provide our uh, you know any uh, start game basically any function name and here i will uh, pass start game i have not created it but select create it so in here i will create a start game function start game uh, and no parameter will be required because we just want to do one thing which is making our user screen uh, forget and we want to make our root screen, root frame pack so i think this completely works let's run our game why there are so many it's too blank it's okay. yeah now that's great run game okay we are with our intro screen which is a user screen and we have added only two widgets you can add as many widgets as you want but if i play, play on play game we are back to our previous code previous game which we have created and here i can pass uh, you know i can select an option which i think is the right answer i can move to the next question and i can see the scroll in the end that i got only two answers correct so that was great and thank you for watching we will catch you up in the next video